What's going on everyone? Steven here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing a little bit of work that I've done in this game I've been commissioned to make some tools for. This game is the Caligula Effect Overdose. And so through a lot of the work that I've been doing, I just wanted to show off some things here in the title screen, which it doesn't look like there's much here, but um, if you are a fan of this game or if you know anything about it, I don't know if what I'm going to show is a spoiler or not, um, so just a heads up with that. Um, but anyway, so essentially what I wanted to do here was take a look around in this scene and see, you know, what kind of stuff there might be in here. Um, as we can see, there's a female walking there. That's because I have a female selected as my main character. So on the continue uh, selection there, um, it's finding her as the main character. But normally there's a, a guy walking. And if you look beneath, there is a reflection of what appears to be a guy walking instead of this female. And this is the thing that I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. So again, just putting that out there. Um, so, like, what could we do with this scene? Well, the first thing that I wanted to do was get rid of the HUD here. So anything that we can see there, I want it gone. I can bring it back, do whatever, right? Got that set to hotkeys. So the HUD is gone. That's cool. Uh, the next thing that I would like to be able to do is to flip the scene. And I'll show you why in a little bit. So we've got the scene flipped. Uh, we'll come back to that. And finally, what I wanted to do, uh, a couple of things. One is pause what's going on in the scene, the objects. So these effects with like that wavy looking stuff. And then you'll see off to the left there, there's some lighting going on uh, with these flowers that are floating by. Uh, that stuff is still running. Uh, I still have to look for those and find the mechanic that is running for those. But anyway. So with these few things, uh, and finally I can blow up the flowers to make them ginormous so that we can take a look at them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are the things that I've built into just the scene as well as actually moving the camera around in the environment, right? So the first thing that I want to show is that our character here is headless. There is no head. <laughs> um, and so I guess that was maybe a decision for... You know, having one less resource loading on the screen or whatever. Um, but anyway, so that's the first thing. The second thing we have is if we actually move down, we can see what this character is. This is a fully dressed character, right? And instead of looking at him upside down, that's the reason I wanted to make it to where I could flip the scene. Um, so now we have the scene flipped, and now I'm going to move up through the water upside down and we can look at his character model we see some fantastic clipping there but you know that's pretty commonplace uh, and if we look closely his body looks hollow so you see that flower where his chest is it looks like it's inside of a hollow body which we can see here that it actually is so you know that's pretty cool and then we can get inside the head here and see the texture for the face there wrapping around um, yeah so that's pretty cool and once again if we wanted to we could just pause the scene here and go scope some stuff out if we wanted to if you wanted to take screenshots of him paused um, and then with the flowers um, I needed to unpause it, but first let me actually flip the scene back to how it should be. All right, now we're back on top. And, you know, as you can see, when you do things like flip the scene and stuff, and it kind of breaks the immersion and breaks your perception of things, it can be kind of confusing initially when you start seeing that stuff. But anyway, um, so we could just get in and... I've got it to where you can move the camera. Normal speed is this, which is a little too fast, so now we can slow it down. Check some stuff out here. Um, and then if we wanted to speed it up, we could do that. So I am going way outside the boundaries here to see if um, we're going up and away. So look, we can see that plane there. That looks like everything is operating on. And I'm going back and up, and what we can eventually see, maybe, is if, 
you know, we're in this spherical sort of thing, <clears throat> which tends to happen with a lot of environments and games, but it looks like the scene is just completely white. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show some of the work that I've done so far and, you know, show the kind of things that you can do here. And if we wanted to, we could just, you know, bring back <laughs> the menu and everything still operates as it would. Um, and because I have everything paused, it's the same with moving around stuff on the screen. So there we go. Now that I've unpaused it, all those things, the menu items work as well. So anyway, um, if you are interested in this game and you want to see some more stuff, let me know. I'll be happy to make more videos once what I'm doing is finished, the commissioned work. I'll be shedding some details on that too, a little project coming up that I'm involved with that I think some of you will really enjoy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.